Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name's Sir Timster. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add wind to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So right here I have a big sort of field of grass and I want to animate it so I have it sort of swaying in the wind. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So first of all what you'll need is a mesh that you want the wind to affect. So Probably larger meshes work best with this, or then small detailed ones. So the first thing you have to do is everything you want to be affected by this one type of wind is going to have to be joined together. I'm going to select my camera here and move it along the Y axis just back over there so it's out of the way. Then I'm going to press numpad 3 so that's not in the way. And then I'm going to press A to deselect and then press B to box select and we're going to select all the grass like so. Hopefully you haven't selected the plane, then we want to select one somewhere in the middle so it turns yellow and then we're going to press Ctrl J to join them all. So now that's all one big mesh. Now what probably what you want to do is under the physics here set it to no collision. If you leave it on proper physics it's not going to be very sort of accurate because yeah it's a really big mesh and the physics are going to be crazy complicated to calculate. So, no collision works fine. Then the next thing we're going to do, go back to oh, numpad 1 or numpad 3, whatever you want. Then we're going to press Shift S, cursor to center. Then we're going to press Shift A, and we're going to add a single bone. Press S to scale, and just drag out like this until it's a good size. The size of the bone doesn't really matter. Then we're going to drag it somewhere so that the bottom part of it is uh, on the top here. So sort of align it roughly like that. Then we're going to select our grass here and hold down shift and select our bone. And then we're going to press control P and parent with automatic weights. Now you'll notice up in the top corner here, bone heat weighting has failed. Don't worry about that because we'll be sort of redoing the white painting anyway. So now under the object, you'll see under here it has a new vertex group. So that happens when we parent it, so you'll need one of those. Then we're going to, with the grass selected, we're going to go to weight paint mode. Then we're going to press Z to go into wireframe and bring out this toolbar on the side. So the first thing we're going to do is angle our mesh, something like that. Scroll in a bit and we're going to paint over the top. So basically what we want to do is we want the top half of all the planes to be red and the bottom half to be blue. So basically what that does is the part that are red they move with the wind so if you move the bone sideways the top part will move and anything that's marked blue will stay still so the bone won't affect it at all. So that's sort of handy because then you can sort of have a place where it's rooted and you know it won't move from. Okay, so once you have the majority of the bottom blue, and that's most important, not all of it has to be red, but you want most of the bottom to be blue so it doesn't move around, uh, the top of it can sort of vary. If you don't want parts moving, you can just leave them blue. Then you can go out of white paint mode, so back to object mode, and then we can go into texture view here, and now you'll notice it won't look any different, but if we select our bone and go into pose mode, if we move it, then the grass moves, which is pretty cool. 
And so if you painted it 100% perfect and it's all red and blue, then it will should all move at the same time, but obviously I didn't, so parts of it move separately to others. Which again might be nice if you want variation or something like that. Now what we can do to have the wind sort of constantly going is down here we can add a keyframe for location. Then we can go to frame 20 down here and move it slightly this way maybe and insert another location keyframe. Go to frame 40 and bring it back again. And then the grass will sway backwards and forwards. So if you wanted to add possibly different sort of speeds of wind, you could add multiple bones and just have them sort of uh, moving only certain parts of the grass. So only possibly this half you might go and paint red at the top for one bone and then for the other bone paint the other half red. You can also use it for other objects, so maybe you have one object which is the grass, then maybe another object which is trees or flowers and then you have different bones controlling them so you can sort of have them moving at different speeds. And just to prove that this works well, we're gonna I've quickly set up an animation here. If I press P, you'll notice it's constantly playing, obviously way too fast, but uh, yeah, you can obviously lengthen out that animation. And if you look at the frame rate, it's going at 60 FPS the entire time. The animation's profile is at 0%, which is very good, hardly any lag, all the settings are fairly normal, and it worked quite well, especially for large landscapes like this. So there you go guys, that's how to add wind to your games in the Blender Game Engine, or large fields, uh, whatever you want to use it for. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, if you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Any sort of support is greatly appreciated, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, found something helpful from it, and I'll see you in the next one.